<laughs> it's cold out here. There's my dog. It's cold out here. It's cold out here. I'm freezing. I was about to head home. I was about to head home and shoot this video, shoot this video at my house where it was nice and nice and warm, right? Yeah. Then I'm like, no, that's the whole point. The whole point is to stay where you don't feel comfortable because when you stay uncomfortable when you stay uncomfortable as i'm playing with my dog when you stay uncomfortable you grow you grow you grow pain tolerance when people say oh like i have a high pain tolerance immediately i'm like okay it's it's self-talk and also like how much pain have you been through okay so the reason i say that's because i just actually i just got my knees done okay my initials. So I got my knees done, right? Check this out. So I got them done. I got them done yesterday. Prior to getting them done, I told my tattoo artist, I'm like, yo, this, I want the uh, letter A and D for my initials. And he's like, all right, bro. Like I, I recommend we do one knee one day and then on the other knee the other day. And I'm like, really? Why? He's like, bro, because it's, it's one of the most painful spots to, to do a tattoo. He said, like, you already got, he said, like, you picked the most, you pick, you picked the worst spots because I got my throat, I got my back, I got my hands, the back was kind of painful. Um, and I'm like, I'm like, he's like, he's like, bro, you got to be a little fucking maniac to like go through like the two knees, man. So I'm just saying we should do two days, you know, he's like, we'll do one and see what happens. And so the, like, like three, four days before it, I'm like, mm, kind of reconsidering it. And I'm like, nah, nah, dude, I can do this. And then yesterday, before my appointment, right? Before my appointment, I was like, nah, dog, I'm gonna do both. Ain't no fucking way I'm tapping out. Ain't no way I'm tapping out. And so I get there and he's like, yo, let's do the D first. I'm like, okay, which I'm so happy that we did the D. If you've never had a tattoo, usually once you start getting tattooed, your adrenaline starts pumping. Um, you kind of go numb sometimes because of the adrenaline, it's a lot of pain. So I sit down, we start doing the left knee. And honestly, it's not that bad. I'm like, mm. and there's times where he went over the knee and he was, mm. I'm like, all right, all right, all right, all right. But I'm like, nah, I can do this. Nah, I'm listening to um, Wes Watson. I'm listening to people speak to me. I'm not even listening to music. I'm just, people are texting me. I'm, I put my phone down. I can't, I got to focus on my self-talk. So every time I got hit with pain, with pain, with pain, I'm like, no, no, I breathe. I'm like, I can do this, I can do this. and. I realized the pain tolerance came from what you say to yourself when you're hit with pain. When something stabs you, you're like, oh my God, that really hurts. And you pull away. I'm like, no, you stay in it. You stay in it. You stay in it. Like, this is growth. This is growth. This is growth. This is growth. I want to keep growing. I want to keep growing. And like, ultimately, that's 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 the thing about pain. That's it's What do you say to yourself when you are in pain? I now, am I in pain? I'm not comfortable. Like I'm like, I got goosebumps all over my bike, my, my fucking arms. That's why I'm like moving, but I'll fucking find a way because when you are in pain, that is when you're elevating. And if you can stay in pain long enough, when you come out, there's a lot of pride. You, you build confidence and you build, you're just so proud of yourself. And like, I'm like, yeah, I got both knees done. And some people are like, man, bro, that had to hurt. So after I got the first, after I got the D done, I was walking around. This guy's like, man, I'm like, did it hurt? And I'm like, no, not really. And this guy nodded his head. He's like, yeah, yeah, okay. And I thought to myself, wait a minute, wait a second. It did hurt. But I still fucking went through it. That's the thing. It's going to hurt. I'm like, I'm like, it, it doesn't make me sound cool if I said, no, it didn't hurt. I'm like, yeah, it did hurt. I still stayed though. I didn't fucking tap out. And he's like, I'm gonna do the other knee. And like, really? I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna do the other knee. Let me just go eat some fucking food. So I went in the back, started eating my, uh, I started eating my canned chicken. I had uh, I had a little cup, a fruit cup of uh, pineapple. So snacking on these pineapples, eating this chicken. I'm still fucking diced right now. Cause I'm like, I'm like, oh, I need to have a lot of carbs. Cause last time when I did my back, bro, he did the left side, right? And I was, so pale. I forgot to like eat too. I, like, I, like I'm obviously I spread my meals out, but I, I spread them out too far apart, and so I got really white. But I finished it. He's like, okay, we finished the left side. Take a break. 
I said, bro, let me go get some food. <laughs> so I go get some food and oh my God, the best tasting food of my life. I was like, I needed this. <laughs> Man, my hands got cold. But so then we go into the right knee. We go into the right knee. Man, the first 10 minutes, I'm like, bro, oh my God, dog, dog. It was, it was pretty painful because so when you get your when you get one side done your adrenaline leaves so now your adrenaline's all used up and then when you take a break this is why you don't take breaks during tattoos in my opinion if you take a break if you take a break and when you come back it's gonna hurt even more so he told me say if you need a break just let me know so i took no fucking breaks except the one between that so i can get some food we go into the a 10 15 minutes into it i'm like oh this is brutal but I'm not gonna stop. This is where growth is, growth. I have attached, I've attached growth to pain, pain to growth. So if I feel, the more pain I feel, even today, like I'm walking around, my knees are swollen, I'm a little fucking tired from like, from like yesterday's whole fucking adrenaline, things like that, because your body takes a toll. And like it's your pain, 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 so the adrenaline. Anyways, and then I slept, because when you, when you get your tattoos, you can't really sleep. Like I had to sleep like this. I can't really roll around but I said I don't care what if I make it past today what if I do just as much work today as I do on any other day on days that where my knees aren't hurting I have a 10 a.m burpee class which I'm just gonna do push-ups because I can't do burpees with like my tattoo right now but I'll still do the push-ups I went in there today and I knocked out a back workout and I'm just proving to myself that the pain that I feel now the tiredness the pain the exhaustion the uncomfortable I just want to sleep i just want to chill if i push past this i push past this then i'm gonna just come out on top just a better man a guy that's undeniable a guy that's on you can't break me you can't my mindset is so fucking ruthless i won't be fucking stopped i won't and 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 this type of man becomes being that comes and then the things that will come my way because of the, who I am and how I hold myself is what I'm trying to tell you push past the pain your pain tolerance will grow as your self-talk gets better and as you put yourself through pain on a daily basis see if you can understand this one thing that the more pain you put yourself through the more proud you become the more different you become the more blessings come your way but why do more blessings come your way because you're deciding to do things that are very difficult in life and i truly believe that god wants you to serve him and the best way that you can serve him is by creating the best man or woman that you can become and because if you can become great anytime i speak to someone i guarantee you i'm gonna lift their spirits up because the pain they're going through, I'd be like, bro, I put myself times 10. I know you can do it. I know you can fucking do it. And I'm talking to you, so you can fucking do it, man. But don't sideline pain. When you're hungry and you're trying to lose weight, stay hungry. If you're trying to bulk up, get that fifth meal in. Stay up, stay up later and get that fifth meal in. Don't just sideline the last meal. So don't fucking go towards that comfort. Stay in the pain and before you know it, you're so used to being uncomfortable that it becomes comfortable that to the point where if you get too comfortable you become uncomfortable much fucking love love you guys